Alex Crozier. Three decades as the head coach for Cal Poly. There's a look at Alex Crozier. Lena Wood, Alexandra Hargrave, among the leading scorers for UC Riverside. Highlanders in the far corner. Quick corner, UC Riverside. In blue, Cal Poly in the white. Frida Monsalvo trying to get a pass into the seam. That was broken up. Now here comes Cal Poly. LaFay had it for the moment. Cal Poly will play it back. Just getting started out here in Riverside. An important Big West Conference matchup here. Cal Poly charging in. Highlanders able to clear for the moment. Here's Lena Wood. She'll play it back to Carranza. They'll switch sides. Look to attack the Mustangs. Here's Alexandra Hargrave, one of the leading scorers in the Big West Conference. Charging through, but the defense too much. She went 1v3 and ending up with the ball, Mackenzie Samuel. Islanders in their last match conceded a goal in the sixth minute of that one against Bakersfield and then scoring late in the match to earn the tie and that was Lena Wood in the 86th minute. Mustangs thwarted once again by the Highlander defense. Far side charge. Mackenzie Moore turning on the afterburners over there, but loses possession. Moore back with it. Sends this one across. Looking for a blue jersey. Highlanders hold the zone. Here's Carranza. Our head official tonight, Trevor Weissman. Yamoka sends this one into the penalty box, but three white shirts awaited that and headed it out. It's Cassia Sousa coming out of the box to play that, one of our highlighted players in the pregame. Carranza to Hargrave. Hargrave trying to get this one to McKenzie Moore. Pass intercepted, and now the counter from the Cal Poly Mustangs. Good ball, but coming off of her line is Casilla Sousa. She read that one all the way. Just getting started out here, fifth minute. You see Riverside 
hosting the Cal Poly Mustangs. Mustangs on the season with 10 points, 3 1 and 1 in conference play. And a whistle and a foul. Looked like that was Yamoka, the guilty party. LaFay loses this. Highlanders look to counter, trying to find Cameron Henry. Pass a little bit off, and her marker did well to shield her off of the ball. That was Kylie Rojas, also with the throw in. Yamoka steps in front. Here's Cameron Henry now. Into the 18, lays this one off, but instead of finding Lena Wood, it found the foot of the Mustangs defense. Highlanders running into each other here on the near side, and it'll be a throw for the Mustangs. Highlanders feel like they need to play with a sense of urgency with only three points in the Big West Conference, just the three ties. They could equal that total with a victory here today and really change their trajectory in the Big West Conference. The team's exchanging possessions at midfield. Highlanders come away and will reset. Rita Monsavo gets the start tonight for UC Riverside from Hacienda Heights. She went to Wilson High School. Mustangs not wasting any time. Near side, here's Emily Lieber. Lieber trying to make a move. Coming out to Kylie Rojas. But the offside flag is raised. Good look at Casilla Sousa from Richmond, California. De Anza High School in goal tonight for UC Riverside. Carranza will play it back to the aforementioned Sousa. Highlanders looking on the far side, trying to find McKenzie Moore. Moore is accelerating towards the 18. Nice move there. Streaking across, plays this one in the middle, but broken up by the defense. Good build-up situation there for UC Riverside. And now they're going to get a deep-in-the-zone throw. Alia Teua with the throw. This one off of the deflection rolls innocently enough all the way to McKenzie Samuel. Nil nil. Ninth minute here in Riverside. Highlanders do have a shot on goal, and that was from Alexandra Hargrave. Hargrave, of course, one of the top performers in the Big West Conference offensively here thus far in the 2022 season. Her, along with Elena Wood, been a pretty dynamic combination. Mix in players like McKenzie Moore and Cameron Henry and the offense. It's been pretty good for UC Riverside here this year. Mackenzie Moore, the transfer from Hawaii. Far side now. Mustangs mounting the attack. Here's Rojas stepping forward. Lieber gets into the box, crosses this one untouched 
Looking for a white knit jersey and didn't find it there. Cal Poly holds. Entering the penalty box. Getting this one over to Rojas. She takes a shot, but comfortably saved by Casilla Sousa. So Kylie Rojas, right idea, but just angled that one right to Sousa. Here's Lieber, trying to get that one over to LaFay. Broken up. That'll be the Highlanders throw in on the far side. So as I mentioned in the last match, you see Riverside 1-1 draw at Bakersfield. That was on Sunday. Roadrunners with a goal in the sixth minute. And Elena Wood with her sixth on the season in the 86th minute to earn the draw. It was very reminiscent of a match earlier in the year. Good slide tackle. Highlanders now can counter. Elena Wood will play this back. Cameron Henry was streaking on the near side. This one in the middle. There's not some Aaron. You see Riverside will reset. Sousa to Frida Monsavo. There's Hargrave. Braylon Yomoka. And back. Teams exchanging possessions momentarily there in midfield. You see Riverside comes away with possession and play it back. Frida Monsavo to Alyssa Carranza. She forgot the ball. She'll play it back. Oh, I've been I've been lowering it. I was at 55. Now I'm at 45. And good work there by Emily Lieber, harassing Carranza on the sideline, and then. Kicking that one off of her. Winning the throw deep in the zone. That was dangerous right there. Madison Demijohn looking for Camille LaFay. LaFay leads the team in goals. She's got four of those, nine points overall on the season. So dangerous, dangerous play right there. UC Riverside may consider themselves lucky, still be even here. Islanders trying to mount an attack there, but pass telegraphed and intercepted. Good moves there by Peja Balanon. Mustangs now moving towards, but we're offside.
Highlanders now on the far side. Good ball into the corner. Moore sends this one in. Elena Wood came charging through, but it was 1v3. A lot of white shirts accompanying her. There's Hargrave going over to Mackenzie Moore. Moore loses possession there for the moment. There's Hargrave. Here she goes. Lena Wood. Offside flag. Highlanders looked like they had something cooking right there with Hargrave and Elena Wood. But alas, offside. Kenzie Samuel. Demijohn loses it there. Nil-nil here in Riverside. You see Riverside Soccer Stadium. Highlanders trying to find McKenzie Moore on the far side. That one is broken up as she's marked well. Just a shot apiece so far here in the 18th minute. Corner kick for UC Riverside, so. Set piece, play it on the ground. Throw in deep in the zone. One's into the zone, and Samuel lucky to come away with that one. Now here's the counter from the Mustangs. Emily Lieber gets by Carranza. Shot there by number 23, that's Camille LaFay, a leading goal scorer for the Mustangs. There's another look at McKenzie Moore trying to hook up with Cameron Henry on the other side. Now it's going to be a corner. Set piece for Cal Poly. With the take, Montserrat Hernandez Marquez headed away by UC Riverside. Cal Poly collects. Sends this one in at the top of the six. That one's hit a little bit too strong there. The right foot of Marquez. Marquez has taken the most shots for Cal Poly this season. She now has 22 on the year. Islanders having a little bit of trouble here. 
Cal Poly with the pressure. Telegraphed pass. Stepped in front. That's Megan Hansen. Over to Lieber. Tries the center. And this one off of Hansen's right foot strike. Right to the chest of Casilla Sousa. So comfortable save there for Sousa. And the Highlanders will look to work. Carranza on the near side. Finds Hargrave. Back to Carranza. There's Lena Wood. And taken away from Lena Wood. Two defenders on her there at the top of the 18. Braylon Yamoka. She'll regather this. Near side, Alyssa Carranza. Plays this back, Frida Monsalvo. But to Hargrave. Hargrave playing a little aggressively there. And she'll draw the foul. So good one here so far. You see Riverside hosting the Mustangs of Cal Poly. Riverside with just three points in the Big West Conference here so far, but you wouldn't know it the way they're playing against the Mustangs and the Offside flag is raised once again. Highlanders, before the draw against Bakersfield on Sunday, had dropped two straight. I was at home on the 29th against UC Irvine, 1-0. And then they conceded on the 6th of October to Cal State Fullerton, 4-1. Trying to find McKinsey Moore on the far side, but a little bit too much touch on that one. There's Cameron Penn with the throw in. LaFay over to Emily Lieber. Lieber trying to get around Carranza. And the Highlanders able to clear for the moment. Here's Cameron Henry. She's got some wheels over there. She slows down and allows Rojas to run up the back side of her. Falls to the turf. Cameron Henry, once she got into the penalty box, bumped off of the ball. Ainsley Connor with the good defense. Loses possession of the ball right there for the moment. Throw in. That'll be Kylie Rojas. Rojas was charging Cameron Henry. Cameron Henry just put on the brakes and Rojas lost her footing. Well, here's a throw in deep in the attacking zone. Rojas trying to find Maddie Demijohn. They'll get another crack at it here. Braylon Yamoka put a stop to that play. Trying to find Cameron Henry. There's Hargrave. Hargrave now charging. She's got Lena Wood. She finds McKenzie Moore. Mince Kenzie Moore. One on one with the goalkeeper and a good save by Samuel. Now the Highlanders still with possession. Now have to play it back. Exciting play there. Samuel coming off of her line and almost in a in a no-win situation there, 
caught in the middle, but made a kick save, and it was effective. Whistle on the far side. Here's another look at it. Hargrave charging. Great ball into McKenzie Moore. And Moore stifled at the doorstep. McKenzie Samuel. Islanders momentarily lose possession. Now we'll play it back. Here's Sousa. will play this ball over, but a little bit too much touch on it. Mackenzie Samuel, San Diego, California, a moment ago with a great save on Mackenzie Moore. I'm sure Mackenzie Moore would like to have that one back, but a very quick moving play. Here's Cameron Henry, finds Lena Wood. Wood back to Henry. And Henry bumped off of the ball by her mark. It'll be a throw for UC Riverside and a couple of subs coming in. Looks like Sam Ritchie's coming in and giving way is not Samarin. Charisma Benitez will come on. Cameron Henry will give way. So Nat Gonzalez trying to push the right buttons and pull the right levers and get the winning combination out there for the finish had a couple good buildups. Looking for the finishing touches on one. Fresh legs out there now. Mackenzie Moore on the far side. Throws into Sam Ritchie. Braylon Yamoka. She'll play this back. Here's Frida Monsavo. Monsavo will go all the way back to Sousa. Islanders now set and ready to find their shape here. Hargrave. Carranza. Now Yamoka. Far side. For Moore, McKenzie dancing around there. Gets this one into the box and cleared by Cal Poly, at least for the moment. Monsalvo into the middle. Here's Hargrave. Runnins into a wall of a couple of Mustang players. Cleared momentarily once again, and in the 30th minute of a nil-nil match here in Riverside, Highlanders look to attack. Charisma Benitez plays this back. Monsavo 
with the reset. Now they'll try the far side. Headed into the penalty box by Alexandra Hargrave. Samuel will pick that up and say thank you very much. Well, Cal Poly comes in the conference play 3-1-1. One, one. Highlanders with a chance here. This one's just wide. Looked like McKenzie Moore with the shot. Kinsey Moore, the transfer from Hawaii. And you see Riverside happy that she made the trek out. Here's another look. McKenzie Moore with the turn going far post and didn't miss by much, although it did look like Samuel could get a mitt on that one if it was more on target. There's LaFay back to Kylie Rojas. Connor now to Emily Lieber in the corner. Lieber sends a cross through Sousa, early recognition, and comes off her line. Savo plays this one to midfield. Taken there by Cal Poly. And it's like another substitution there. Kaylee Button will come on for Cal Poly. Aliyah Tuua will give way, and Kelsey Molsoff will come on. Demi John. Player that gave way when Button came on. Yamoka plays this back to Casilla Sousa. Frida Monsalvo with the start tonight. Carranza. Here's Emily Lieber trying to center this one. Yamoka there, and then poked away from Lafour. Excuse me, Lafay. I beg your pardon. Here's Kylie Rojas. Over to Emily Lieber, who's not able to collect. So two saves apiece for the goalkeepers. Rojas with the throw. Freedom on Savo. Some good defense there. Lena Wood trying to get this one to Charisma Benitez. She missed the mark a little bit, but Benitez with the pressure. Now Hargrave, Yamoka trying to team up and dispossess the Mustangs. They'll go to the other side.
Cal Poly. Trying to strike first in this one in Riverside. Nil, nil. 36th minute. Thank you so much for joining us. Stephen Douglas alongside with you. This one's a shot missing wide. Sousa was well positioned. Sousa with the pink hair. Perhaps for the month of October. At any rate, she's in goal for UC Riverside and has had a nice night here so far. Both of the keepers have. Benitez had her pocket picked. Hargrave tried to make the turn. Was dispossessed. Here comes UC Riverside. Trying to mount a counter here. Sam Ritchie. Missed with her first pass. And had the ball poked away there on her second touch. Kayla, whoa, point blank, Camille LaFay, and Casilla Sousa was ready for that one. LaFay tried to go near post, and Sousa once again positioned well, although it was pretty much right to her chest. Take a look at it once again here. No, no, not her chest. She had to outstretch the arms and take that one from the sky there. Lena Wood will, will give way and Spencer Gonzalez comes on. 38th minute. Throw in on the far side for the Mustangs. Mustangs with 10 points on the season. They're 3 1 and 1 in conference. They are just a point off of the top spot. Fullerton also with 10 points, and the Beach. They're 3 0 and 2 on the year, so they have 11 points. UC Riverside after this Cal Poly match. We'll be back here on ESPN Plus on Sunday afternoon, 12 sharp. That's going to be a big one against the Gauchos of UC Santa Barbara. Highlanders dispossessed, and here comes the Mustangs. Lafay chose to slow it down a little bit. Trying to get this one into the corner. We got a little bit too much steam there for McKenna Carbon. Throw in for Kelsey Molsoff from San Jose, California. Emma Brown on the far side. Play it back and try to get this ball over the top. 
Found it in waiting header from UC Riverside. The two teams exchanging possessions here at midfield. Strong challenge from Hargrave. She'll ease off the pressure. And Forty-first minute, first half here at the UC Riverside Soccer Stadium. No one's found the back of the net just yet in this one. Near side, dangerous ball there. Very high leg. Olivia Ortiz. They try to find Ortiz once again in the corner. She'll play it back for Kylie Rojas. Rojas now surrounded by three blue shirts. And the whistle and the foul there. Trevor Weissman on the call. That's Carranza from El Dorado Hills. Went to Oak Ridge High School. Carranza. Trying to find Charisma Benitez. Frida Monsalves. Doing some yeoman's work back there to keep the Mustangs from, in the very least, a good look at goal. So good work back there from Frida Monsalves. Headed wide of the net. Cal Poly with a golden opportunity right there. Sam Ritchie will give way, and Jenna Reinhardt will come on from Belmont, California. The freshman making an appearance here tonight. 43rd minute. Teams have played each other very well here thus far. Charisma Benitez loses possession. There's that lady again, Camille LaFay. There's Rojas charging forward. And Molsoff will strike that one beyond the touchline. We'll get a throw in for Cal Poly. It'll be Cameron Penn deep in the attacking zone. So both of these coaches, quite a long tenure at both of these schools. Matt Gonzalez, well, he's just been around for a decade in this spell with UC Riverside. Alex Crozier, oh, just three decades with the Cal Poly Mustangs. It's one thing about Big West Conference soccer, the coaches have very, very long stays with their programs. A whistle, and this is going to be a free kick in a sweet spot here of the field. This will be about say 28 yards away from goal. Let's see who will take. Right foot hits the wall. And the Highlanders defense stands strong. 
And we've got the countdown to the half here. Mustangs trying to mount the charge here late. But to no avail. And there is no score here at the UC Riverside Soccer Stadium. We have come to the half, and we're going to step aside for these messages. You're watching Big West Conference Soccer on ESPN+. A combination of Alexandra Hargrave and Lena Wood looking to get something to the back of the net. There's a look at Hargrave there. One of the leading scorers in the Big West Conference. Hargrave trying to charge forward right away. Now on the far side. And that'll be cleared by the Mustangs. Dusa in goal for UC Riverside. She'll play this one. Pressure on coming. Highlanders having a little bit of trouble with it here. There's Marin. On the far side. Harassed by two white jerseys. Alia Tuua gets this over to Braylon Yamoka. Yamoka misfires with the pass. Mustangs now on charging. And that one just wide. Camille LaFay with the shot, sailing wide. Had plenty of venom behind that one. We'll take another look. LaFay not afraid to pull the trigger, that's for sure. Once again, here comes Cal Poly and LaFay charging. Sousa comes off her line and will make sure to stop the Mustangs run. Spill on the far side. Looks like that's Hargrave and she's still down for the moment. Hargrave able to get up. Carranza. Hargrave looks fine as she accelerates past one defender. The next one deflects that ball away. Mustangs now. Fine LeFay. Faye over to the corner. Here's Carbon. Mackenzie Carbon dispossessed there at the 18 box. Highlanders having a little bit of trouble with the Mustangs press. Sousa loses this one, and that was extremely dangerous. Highlanders not out of the waters yet. And the whistle, and that was on the Mustangs. Much to the dismay of their crowd here. We'll take another look. Sousa got a little nonchalant there and almost paid the price. So 
So the Mustangs almost caught a tremendous break there. Instead, the Highlanders able to clear, and here's Lena Wood applying some pressure. Penn plays this back to Emma Brown. Now they'll try the far side. Pass was telegraphed and intercepted by the Highlanders. Here's Alexandra Hargrave. Her pass also intercepted. Near side. Carbon. Moving in. This one across that was dangerously close to finding it looks like LaFay once again. I tell you, Camille LaFay has been everywhere on the pitch tonight as far as Cal Poly's offense is concerned. Two shots on the night for LaFay. Neither have been on goal as of yet. This one misses the mark. It was off of the left foot of Kylie Rojas. 51st minute. You see Riverside Soccer Stadium. Here's Lena Wood. Not Marin. Back to Sousa. Sousa loses this one. Faye, ever dangerous. And this is going to be a corner kick. So a set piece upcoming. McKenna Carbon. Carbon from Corona, California with the take. Right foot headed out by UC Riverside and cleared. A lot of white shirts in the area, but UC Riverside able to disrupt that set piece. Now the Mustangs right back on the attack. And offside flag is raised. So Mustangs stopping themselves on that play. Sousa whiffs on this one once again. And now the Mustangs energized for the moment, lose possession. Sousa. Had a couple close calls back there when she's come off of her line. And here comes the Mustangs once again, centering this one into the net. Cal Poly finds the goal here in the 53rd minute. Looked like McKenna Carbon found the back of the net. We'll get confirmation here in a moment, and in fact it is McKenna Carbon. There's a look at the goal scorer. We'll take another look here. Carbon, good strike, went for the far post, and Sousa unable to recover. It's 1-0. Cal Poly takes the lead here. Highlanders look to regroup. So Cal Poly with the goal in the 53rd minute to make it 1-0.
the Highlanders, like they've done so many times this season, will try to find the equalizer. Highlanders with seven ties on the year. Cal Poly looking to apply the pressure. They don't want to tie. They're looking for three points. LaFay on the near side. She has Carbon behind her. Instead, she'll play to the other side on the switch. Good slide tackle there. And now here's Lena Moore. Excuse me, Lena Wood. Near side tussle. Cameron Penn with the throw in. Penn's from Foster City, California. She was with the Bay Area Surf. As far as her developmental team. Trying to find Cameron Henry. A little bit too much touch on that one. Sousa comes up with that one. She gets her mitts around it before Cal Poly can find the header and possibly find the back of the net once more here. Second half. We're in the 57th minute and you see Riverside down by a goal. Looking for an equalizer, but so far they haven't been able to find possession. Lena Wood running after this one. Not going to be able to get there. McKenzie Samuel playing a fine game so far. Looking for the clean sheet on the night. He's had two saves. You see Riverside with just the two shots on goal. There's Alyssa Carranza, Oak Ridge High School. Mackenzie Moore comes back on. And Spencer Gonzalez will give way. Amelie Araya comes on, and Hargrave will get a little bit of time to catch her breath. Hargrave and Lena Wood amongst the leaders as far as goals this season. Both players will be looking for the equalizer. Here's Mackenzie Moore, the transfer from Hawaii. Trying to get around her mark. Now trying to get around another mark in the corner. She centers this one. Header, Lena Wood. Another header, and this one by Natsa Marin. But off the mark a little bit. Wasn't able to get enough on that one. McKenzie Samuel will take care of that. One touch. LaFay. LaFay now streaking. Highlanders sniff that one out. Near side now. Braylon Yamoka. Trying to find Cameron Henry. Henry on the far side. 
Trying to get this one centered. Elena Wood dispossessed there. Yamoka steps forward. And now she'll collect and play this one back. Frida Monsalvo plays it all the way back to Casilla Sousa. 60th minute here in Riverside, 1-0. Cal Poly with the advantage. Sousa steps forward to play this one ahead. But the goal on the night by McKenna Carbon. Her second on the season. And the Mustangs charging ahead once again. Cross goes untouched. Offside flag raised, though. Lena Wood. Some indecision there by Samuel, but she makes up her mind and clears it for the moment. Cameron Henry dispossessed. And now the Mustangs look to push. Here's Carbon on the near side. White uniform with the pink headband. Now they'll try the far side. Highlanders defense rises to the occasion. Looking for the counter now. Lena Wood had some trouble with two white shirts on her back. Telegraphed pass there. Mustangs now on the attack into the penalty box. But LaFay loses possession there. As Mackenzie Moore keeps that one in. I'm sorry, she does not keep that one in. That was close. Great effort there by Mackenzie Moore. McKenna Carbon gives way. Montserrat Hernandez Marquez comes on. Haven't called her name that much in the match, although she was one of the players to watch in the pregame. Marquez on the year leads the Mustangs as far as shots. She's got 22 of those. Speaking of shots, the Mustangs lead in that category here tonight against the Highlanders. They have nine shots, four on goal, and one has reached the back of the net. From McKenna Carbon, the sophomore from Corona, California. Back to Sousa, 63rd minute. Highlanders feeling some pressure here from the Stangs. As a result, momentarily lose possession. Rojas over to Megan Hansen. Hansen. Errant pass. Elena Wood tries to track this one down, but is unable. Good look at LaFay. 
Bay leads the team in goals this season and has been very, very active for the Mustangs and head coach Alex Crozier. Islanders trying to clear this. Unable to do so. And, and this one's deflected out beyond the touchline. That's not the Marin working hard. Marin from San Francisco, California. Mustangs, good ball. Tried to center, deflected away by the Highlanders. And cleared, now trying to find Cameron Henry with the counter. Henry harassed there. Kylie Rojas had her marked well. Over to Marin. Marin will have to play this back. To Uwa, looking for more. More. Fancy moves over there in the corner, trying to get past her mark. And then her shot finds the chest of Samuel. Trying to center that. I don't believe that was a shot, per se. Trying to get that one in the center. And Highlanders not able to do so. 66th minute. You see Riverside still looking for the equalizer here. Mustangs still applying the pressure offensively, crossing that one through the penalty box untouched. At least by a white jersey, and this is going to be a corner kick. Set piece opportunity. Here's Montserrat Hernandez Marquez. She'll play it on the ground. Rojas. Just high. Good strike with the right foot. And Kylie Rojas. Just a little strong with that one from Hayward, California. Take another look here. Rojas had a moment to size that one up and didn't miss by much. Now 10 shots on the night for the Mustangs. Hargrave back in. Marin will give way. Lena Wood gives way. Charisma Benitez comes in. Mustangs, another shot, left-footed strike. And that one sails over the crossbar. By a good distance. There's Sousa. Near side, looking for more. There's Tua with the throw in. Yamoka. Yamoka will play this back. Here's Hargrave charging forward. Hargrave not being stopped. Pushes this one through the zone. Mackenzie Moore looking to give chase, but Samuel will sprawl out and collect that one. Samuel, five foot nine frame. 
from San Diego, California. The sophomores looked very sharp here tonight for the Mustangs. And the Stangs on the attack once again. Slide tackle. And it was an effective move there. A little slow to get up is Emily Lieber. A good play by the UC Riverside defense. And a corner kick here for the Mustangs. Marquez with the take, headed away. Cal Poly with another chance at it, but that shot deflected. Looked like Sousa was trying to push some bodies out of her way as she was trying to get to that ball. Sousa coming off of her line, and it pays off this time. 70th minute, 1 0. Cal Poly, San Luis Obispo on top. Mustangs trying to get three points. That would move them temporarily past the beach, depending on what they do tonight. Long Beach with 11 points coming into tonight's action. Cal Poly along with Cal State Fullerton both with 10 points. Islanders, they'd be content with a draw here tonight and get one point out of this. Although that's all they've earned so far in Big West Conference play this season, just the three points off of three draws. Mustangs here possessing well, seeming to seemingly finding the Open pass and the seam here. That's a whistle. That's on Charisma Benitez. She'll get a little talking to from Trevor Weissman. And officiating tonight has been spot on. At least so far. Big West officiating crew here tonight. Trevor Weissman, Jared Kennedy, Isaac Cisneros, and Arena Fonseca. Here's Mackenzie Samuel. Back to Samuel, Highlanders. Put some pressure on. There's Tuua. Trying to find the center. Tuua. Nifty move. 1v3. Knocked over there in the penalty box. Whistle blown. But the foul will be committed by the Highlanders. That'll be Charisma Benitez. One nil, Highlanders down, and looking to come back. And foul on the far side, and that will be a yellow presented to the Mustangs. That was Kylie Rojas that will pick up the yellow. So a free kick upcoming for the Highlanders. It'll be Braylon Yamoka and Alexandra Hargrave. Let's see who has the take. Yamoka or Hargrave. It'll be Yamoka. Plays this one in. 
Highlanders keeping it in the zone there. And then looks like a goal kick. So Highlanders with a good chance there, unable to capitalize, but you've got to tip your cap to the defense of the Mustangs. Mustangs defense stepping up tonight. Jordan Weiss plays this back to Casilla Sousa. Highlanders try to retain possession here for a moment or two and get themselves in a good position. Mackenzie Moore. White shirts all around. She's dispossessed. Now uh, here's Yamoka. Moore on the near side. Moore with a nice move to get past her mark. But Emma Brown came over to help out. Islanders now with a throw deep in the attacking zone. To Ua. Working hard, but... Strong challenge there by the Mustangs once again. Now they try to counter. Mustangs on the far side. And bumped off of the ball there. Pretty strong challenge. Like Madison Demijohn was dispossessed on that play. Amelie Araya surrounded by white shirts. Does well, retain possession. Araya once again. I'll try the other side of the field, the far side. 77th minute out here at the UC Riverside Soccer Stadium. A good one here in the Big West Conference. Cal Poly trying to secure three points. The Highlanders trying to draw even at this point. Problem for UC Riverside, usually their offense comes through tonight. Just four shots, three of those on goal, and we have an injury here. Trevor Weissman will stop the clock and allow medical staff onto the field. And that looks like Camille LaFay Lafay gets a uh, nice hand coming off of the pitch. She looks to be moving well, so good news. Looks like McKenna Carbon will come on. She's the difference in this one. She found the back of the net and did so in the 53rd minute. Amelia Raya will give way and Lena Wood comes back on.
Just a quarter of an hour remains in this one. Mustangs on top. Trying to stake claim to the top of the Big West Conference standings. Islanders trying to scrape and scrap and get every single point they can get, and that's all they've been able to achieve so far. Sousa comes off her line and is able to collect. Sousa almost lost that one and was able to reach her paw out and get it. Just the one blemish on the night for Sousa, and really there was nothing she could do on that goal that was scored by Carbon. Kenzie Moore, strong challenge from McKenna Carbon. And whistle blown. Foul committed, you see Riverside. There's Emma Brown. Head for Marquez. Marquez trying to find Carbon, but the flag comes up. McKenna Carbon is offside. Good crowd on hand here at the UC Riverside Soccer Stadium. You have time on Sunday, we'll be back out here. Although, of course, you can watch it on ESPN Plus app. 12 noon, UC Riverside will be hosting the Gauchos. Let's look at the faithful here. Oh, there's me. Hi. There's the upcoming schedule for UC Riverside, as I mentioned. Sunday's match against the Gauchos as McKenzie Moore looks to work here on the near side. Highlanders will play it back. And then a road trip to Hawaii and UC Davis. That'll be a tough trip for UC Riverside. Throw in to Ua. Into Lena Wood. Lena streaking across the middle of the field. Braylon Yamoka holds possession. And the Highlanders are dispossessed. 80th minute out here in Riverside. Big West Conference, conference matchup here. The Highlanders, as they've done so many times on the season, looking for the equalizer, and now we'll be looking for it in the last 10 minutes of play. Dangerously bad pass there. Telegraphed. Mustangs almost with a golden opportunity served on a platter by the Highlanders. Here's Carbon, but she cannot collect. That'll go beyond the touch line. On the near side, Penn. Good pass in, but Sousa coming off of her line and making the right decision there. That was almost a second goal by the Mustangs, which at this point you would think would be insurmountable for the Highlanders offense. Stangs on the attack once again. And they are moving into the zone almost at will now on the Highlanders.
1-0. Mustangs on top. You see Riverside running out of time. Hernandez Marquez gives way. And coming back is Camille Lafay. Lafay was down with an injury a couple moments ago. Good to see her back in the match. She's had a very nice night. Lena Wood over to the near side. Here's Mackenzie Moore. Moore, errant pass, meant for Yamoka. Now here's Carbon. McKenna tries to get this one into the penalty box. Whistle blown before the shot. It's another dangerous situation. Emily Lieber over there with her hands raised like, what did I do? Here's Cameron Penn on the near side. About to throw this one in. Clock ticking away. 84th minute. Clock ticking away the chances of the Highlanders to at least pull a point out of this. Here's Emma Brown. Not able to Keep that one from going beyond the touchline, though. To Ua. Here's Marin. Dribbles away from pressure, gets it to Yamoka. Yamoka now on the far side. And Highlanders lose possession. Difference in this one, McKenna Carbon. Goal in the 56th minute. As the Mustangs look to collect three points here tonight. Highlanders trying to draw to even ground and quite the collision right there. And this is Probably going to be a yellow card, and it is. Oh, not to Marin. Marin went in there with some force, and the two players pinballed off of each other. We'll take another look. So the yellow card presented to not to Marin. Eighty-sixth minute, free kick for the Mustangs. They'll go to the far side, McKenna Carbon. Tonight's goal scorer so far. Strong challenge by her mark in the corner. And the offside flag comes up. Heimlitters now look to move quick. Here's Yamoka. Hargrave. And Highlanders lose it there on the far side. Trying to find Cameron Henry. Henry. Trying to lose her mark and unable to do so. It was a fantastic job there by Ainsley Connor. Connor from Loomis, California, the transfer from Minnesota.
excellent match tonight for Mackenzie Samuel. So far, the clean sheet, although her defense has also got to be talked about. They've only allowed four shots, three of those on goal. Highlanders now in go time mode. They'll play it back. Sousa misses the mark, though, with the pass. Monsalvo. Monsalvo loses possession. There's Camille Lefay. Lefay knocked down and another whistle. Time ticking away in this one. 88th minute. And the Highlanders' chances of at least getting by with the draw in one point quickly fading here. And things getting a little bit chippy here now. Trevor Weissman running in to get in between players. Cooler heads will prevail, but a yellow card is presented. I believe that was to Cameron Henry. And the clock has stopped while we wait for the officials to sort this out. Carbon with possession on the far side. Mustangs now looking to just kind of ice this thing. Highlanders with a much different idea, trying to find Cameron Henry streaking on the far side, but beyond the touchline. And possession now for the Mustangs. It was indeed Cameron Henry who was presented with the yellow card. And one minute remains in this match here. Big West Conference women's soccer and Cal Poly trying to work their way up to the top of the Big West Conference. Islanders trying to get some points and get away from the bottom. Mustangs will take their own sweet time over in the corner. Can't blame them. Highlanders now with the throw, but quickly dispossessed. So this one is in the books from UC Riverside, Cal Poly with the victory tonight, 1-0 over the Highlanders. UC Riverside trying to get themselves the equalizer in the second half after the goal by McKenna Carbon in the 56th minute. A goal that Sousa, or Sousa had a, well, Almost no chance to get back and defend against that goal. Good passing in the middle by Cal Poly and the two teams got a little chippy towards the end, but handshakes and good sportsmanship prevail. Another good win for head coach Alex Crozier. He's been doing this for a while. Used to getting 